guys welcome back to this youtube channel in this video we are going to determine deflection at the free end of a cantilever using moment area method please if you have not watched the previous video that we made on moment area method kindly check the description section of this video so that you will get the basics that will enable you to understand this particular one that we want to solve first of all what you have to do is to draw the bending moment diagram of this particular beam and you know if you take moment at this point a it means that this 10 kN will cover a distance of 3 meter to point A. So if you want to draw the bending moment diagram, it's going to look like this. Then this is your free end. So the bending moment diagram at this particular point A is going to be 10 multiplied by 3, which is 30 all over EI. Then the bending moment diagram will tend to 0 on that point C. So you connect it. Now, what you have to do is to use this shape of the bending moment diagram to determine the deflection at point B. How do you do that? Already, you know that this is a triangle and the area of a triangle is half base times height. So the base is 3 because from here to here is 3 meter and the height is 30 all over EI. Then multiply by the centroid. The centroid of this particular shape when you are moving towards this end which is the sharp end is 2 over 3 multiplied by the length which is 3 meter then plus the 2 meter which is from here to here because you are not going to stop at point C reason being that you are looking for deflection at point B so you plus that distance if you solve this out you are going to land at uh, you have 45 this 3 will cancel this 3 uh, so you have 4 all over EI. So this will give you 180 all over EI. So deflection in a cantilever is very simple. Just that you have to follow the step that I have showed you here. Thank you for watching and share this video to your friends out there that need this kind of solution.